Mozilla Firefox is my favorite web browser. It's my favorite for many reasons, but one of the main reasons is the Firefox bookmark system is just awesome. You can create custom search functions inside of your bookmarks and then activate them to the address bar like this. Let's say, for example, you wanted to go to youtube.com to search for the videos from Destination Linux Network. Well, you could go to the website or you could just type in the letter Y and then enter your keyword search term and then hit enter. And then there you go. Now you have a search function for YouTube directly built into your browser. Now this particular feature is a combination of other things. So I'm gonna talk about those first, but if you wanna go ahead and skip to the next se that section where I explain exactly how to do this part, you can go ahead and check out the timestamps below and just jump right to it. One of the cool things about Firefox's bookmark system is that there are so many options for organization and customization. You can use the toolbar, the menu, the sidebar, the library for the, all the, the massive amounts of organization if you have a lot of bookmarks. So organizing is pretty important. That's one of the reasons I am a big fan of Firefox's bookmark system because it has a lot of different options for that. So let's check those out. First of all, let's talk about the bookmarks toolbar. This is the thing that you are presented with uh, underneath the address bar when you go to a new tab. Now, by default, this toolbar is not displayed unless you're on a new tab, but you can go ahead and change that at any point and right click, go to bookmarks toolbar, and then choose always show or never show, whichever one is your preference. You can also uh, disable the show other bookmarks, which is this drop down on the far right. Up next is the bookmarks menu, which is just this icon right here at the top right where it's not there by default, you'll have to right click the, to the toolbar and go to customize toolbar. Then you'll find it here and you just drag and drop it to wherever you want it on the toolbar. Now, once you have done it, you can click on this button. You'll see the drop down options for the other bookmarks, this the Mozilla default folder, and you can also create your own folders by doing the manage bookmarks by in going into the library. So when you click on the library, this opens this new window and from here, you can customize all of your bookmarks. You'll, then you'll find some more advanced stuff in here as well. And here you'll have all the options for customizing your bookmarks by going into the library. And then you can just select one of the bookmarks. And then down here, you'll see all the, the options you can do, such as tags, keywords, and etc. We'll get to those in a bit. But right here, you can also right click and then choose add folder. And from here, you can create your own folder. We'll just call it new folder. And then we can move the... Uh, different bookmarks inside of the folder just by drag and drop. And there you go. Then now you can navigate into the folder. Now I've gone ahead and removed that folder, but you get the idea. And you can do nested folders on unlimited depth, just whatever you want to do. And the library is a very powerful way of doing it, but there is another way of doing it too. That other way is the bookmarks sidebar. This is my favorite way of organizing my bookmarks because inside of the sidebar, I can, you know, basically create a new folder just like I did before. But instead of go into that folder in order to see the thing that I put in there, I can just drag and drop it inside of the folder here. And then I can easily access it this way without, but also still having all the other bookmarks still available to me. If you want to open the bookmarks sidebar, you could click the bookmarks menu here and choose view bookmark sidebar, or you can use the shortcut, which is my preferred method and do control B. Another cool thing about the bookmark system in Firefox, if you do something that you didn't mean to do, you can just control Z and undo it. The bookmark system of Firefox does work with Firefox Sync. So if you want to use that to keep your different devices up to date with your different bookmarks, you can do that. You can also export and import your bookmarks. And in order to do that, you can open up the bookmarks library. You could do that with the drop down that I showed you before, or you can hold the control shift buttons and then hit the letter O. And this will open the library again. And from here you have the import and backup drop down. You click that, you can do the backup and restore. Now this will create and use a JSON file or .json. You can also import and export from HTML and that way you can m manually migrate your bookmarks if you need to do so. So now you know how to organize your bookmarks and import and export those bookmarks. What about making bookmarks, Michael? Yeah, fair enough, I might have forgot that step. Let's talk about making bookmarks inside of Firefox. So let's go to the Destination Linux Network Forum by going to dealinforum.com. And from here, we can click on the star button about the far right side of the address bar. And then it will give you the options to choose where you want to uh, put the 
a bookmark. You can put it on the bookmarks toolbar, the menu, the other bookmarks, or you can choose it yourself, which will give you the option to make new folders and just all sorts of stuff really quickly. You can also do the tag system here. So you can make a tag for DLN, for example, and you can click save, and this will add it to your bookmarks. And once you do, you'll see that the, the icon is now a bright color, in this case, blue for this theme. Now, if you have your bookmarks toolbar always showing, like I showed you before, you could change it to do that. If you have it that way, you can just drag and drop the tab to the toolbar and it will add it as a bookmark. Now, let's say you want to remove a bookmark. Now, I don't know why you would want to remove the DLN forum because it's a fantastic forum for getting help with Linux, open source, and technology in general. But if you do wanted to do that, you could go to the button right here and just click it, choose remove bookmark, and there you go. You can also do it inside the library just by right clicking delete or in the bookmark sidebar for the same process of right click and delete. Now you know how to do the fundamentals of add, remove, and organize your bookmarks. Let's talk about some more advanced stuff with the Firefox bookmark system. Up first in the more advanced section, let's talk about the asterisk search option. That took me way too much effort to say asterisk, asterisk search. It took me, I couldn't even say it right then. Now to use this function, we're gonna to go to the address bar and to get there very quickly, you just hit the shortcut key for control L, which goes to the location bar. And in this case, we're gonna type in the shift eight, which will create an asterisk on my keyboard, might be different for you. Then you hit space bar. And then here you can just do the search function inside of your bookmarks. Now we're gonna type in forum, for example, and it will give you the forum or if I want to type in the live stream for DLN Live, I just type in the word live, and then I can hit the arrow down to select the, the bookmark that I want and hit enter. And now we're gonna go to the, the live page that is not live right now, because I'm recording this video. It's not, this is not a live stream. This is a pre-recorded. That's obvious, right? <laughs> now let's talk about tags in Firefox bookmarks. Pretty straightforward. You just add a tag by going to edit your bookmarks. We're gonna open up the sidebar and we're gonna right click a bookmark and choose to edit bookmark. Now here you'll see the tags options and the keyword, we'll get to that in a minute. And in here, there's the drop down where you can choose the different tags or you can just type it in here. So for example, I wanna type in the word tag. I can hit tag right here and then click add a comma to it and click save. And now when I go back to edit that bookmark, you will see that it has not only added that tag, it's also added it in this drop down section. So I can delete that tag and click save, then go back in here and you'll see that it has the DLN option that was already there, which is on a, another tag. Now, if I were to search inside of the search bookmarks section here on the sidebar, and as I, I type in DLN, it will find the different bookmarks that have the DLN uh, initials inside of the actual name of the bookmark. But let's say, for example, I want more bookmarks to show up when I type that, I can right click this one, for example, hit edit bookmark. I can type in DLN, or I can check this box right here and click save. Then now when I do in the search box and type in DLN, it will show you the one I just added. And you can do that for any bookmark you want. Now it's not obvious in how you navigate the tags here in the sidebar, but if you want to you know, use the tags more, you can do so here in the, uh, the library system. Now, I promise you, we are very close to the actual best part of the bookmark system in Firefox. But first, before we get to that part, let's talk about the keywords because that is a prerequisite to show you how to do the custom search function. So in the bookmarks, you can edit them and add specific keywords to each individual bookmark that you want to. Now let's make a custom keyword for one of these bookmarks. We're gonna use the Hardware Addicts podcast example. So that's a lot to say, Hardware Addicts, and it's a lot to type. So we're gonna right click this, we're gonna choose Edit Bookmark, and in here, we're gonna type in the letters HA for Hardware Addicts. And then once we click that and save, we're gonna use Control L to jump directly to the address bar, type in HA, and then hit Enter and it will take you directly to the hardwareaddicts.org website where you can check out all the great content for Hardware Addicts Podcast. All right, now we have arrived to the moment we've all been waiting for, and that is to talk about the keyword search function inside of the bookmarks. Well, I mean, I guess you could have just skipped ahead with the timestamps, that's what they're for. So maybe you, if you did, that's fine, because that's why I put them there. But if you stayed with me and watched the whole video throughout, thank you for the extra watch time. Very appreciated. 
Now, let's talk about the actual keyword searching inside of bookmarks. Now, let's create that YouTube search bookmark. Now, of course, this will work for any website that you want that has a URL-based search function. Now, some websites have a JavaScript search function and those don't work with this because they're super annoying and do the basically built inside of the code, which makes it not work and uh, people stop doing that. Just make a genuine search function so you can use this awesome feature. Now, the vast majority of websites do it properly and don't use a JavaScript method, but you might find some that do. So I have ran a search inside of YouTube's search function, and you see the Destination Linux Network channel, as well as some video from the Destination Linux Network channel. And in the top URL section of the address bar, you'll see that it says search underscore query equals destination plus Linux. Now, this is the part that we want. We're going to bookmark this by just clicking that and choosing to save the bookmark. Now, you can do it in the other ways if you want to as well, like I showed you, but... We're going to open the sidebar and we'll see that Destination Linux YouTube search results have been saved. And we're going to right click it. We're going to edit bookmark. And then here we're going to see the keyword option. So we're going to type in the letter Y. And in the next piece, we're going to go here, remove the Destination Linux piece and hit the percent sign and then S. This is the search variable for activating the keyword search bookmarks feature. We're going to go up to here and also rename this because it's now a YouTube search and now click enter to save. So the next time we go to right here and type in Y, we're going to type in DOS Geek, for example, or DOS Geek Masterclass because he made an awesome uh, privacy and online security masterclass. And it will take you directly to the search function to show you that video. And now you can apply this to any website as long as it has a URL based search function. It is fantastic. I use it all the time. And this is why the bookmark system is number two in my top reasons why I love Firefox. I also have a video on my channel about the number one reason, which is the Firefox multi-account containers or container tabs, which I'll have linked in the description below, as well as the other video where I show you my top seven reasons. And you can check that out in the description below as well. That's it for this video for the Firefox bookmark system. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, then be sure to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel for more content. In addition to subscribing, you can also get some more content at the Destination Linux Network website where you'll find the podcast I'm a part of, the This Week in Linux podcast, the Destination Linux podcast, and also the Hardware Addicts show. You can find all of these at destinationlinux.com network, as well as many, many more shows and content that we have there on DLN. So check it out, destinationlinux.network. Thanks for watching. I'm Michael Tunnell with the Destination Linux Network. And remember, always try to keep an open mind and always try to use open source. I'll see you next time. After I finished this video, I thought maybe I should let you know something. The way that Firefox looks in this video is because of the Snap version of Firefox that I'm using. So you, you see the parts that are bright themed and other parts are dark themed and it's kind of weird mix and match. That's because of Snap, not because of Firefox. When I use the actual Firefox install that I'm using on my computer through the Fedora Linux repo, it looks great and doesn't do any of that. But because I'm using the Snap, well, it's doing that. And I'm using the snap so that I can avoid all the customizations that I already have. So you wouldn't, you know, basically so you don't see my bookmarks, I guess. I have a lot of bookmarks and I didn't want to have to adjust them and figure out how to make them work and all that, you know, you get it, you get it.